All right, welcome back everybody on this uh, Monday, October 21st. Good to see you all. All right, good, good, good. Let's bring up a quick little stock right here. Big winner. Good to see you, Michael, Chuck. Good to see you, Mary, Frank, Kathleen, Ken, everybody, Grant, Andrea, Ben, everybody. All right, guys, so uh, it's Monday. We know what Mondays are all about. Monday's always people come back from the weekend, so we got a couple of good stocks moving, not as much as we do like on hump days, like midweek, but uh, we got a good list going on. Before we do that and go through the watch list, let's just talk about what happened. Hopefully everybody had a great weekend, by the way. You know, on a, you know we'll get right, it's like I'm getting right into it and having so much fun. Uh, you know, I don't know about you guys, but here, you know, here in New York, unfortunately, our Yankees didn't make it. Congratulations to the Houston beating us. I think they're going to win in uh, – win in, in five and uh tonight i'll be at the jet game so it's what we train for right go out and enjoy life a couple of things that are going on so uh that's what's going on in my life so hopefully gain three pounds ken said well i just you on the keto diet ken what happened you went back to the italian heroes happy uh happy like i tell my kids happy belly happy day all right so anyway uh, a couple of good stocks we want to talk about first of all i want to talk about the stock gil all right. So GIL right here was a great, great, great stock right here. Um, stock had a really big run up. This is a stock that had a big, big bottom fish and went from 38 down to 23. And uh, I think we killed it on this one right here. The stock just literally took off, went almost all the way up to about $28. That was one of our biggest winners. I told you this. I was done. I actually sold a little bit too cheap. I sold around... 2650 I think it was and then I had a little bit of a shake I had a little bit of Fausto flag and popped again so anyway I made a couple of bucks on it I was done about I don't know 15 minutes before the market opens up so that was my uh I know that was not my big winner but I think that was all our big winners that was awesome on Friday uh for some of you missed that one a couple other ones also had some big moves and it's moving again actually We'll keep an eye on the the, uh, the BNGO had a really nice run up too. Also, that one I don't know where it came from, but you know this stock we traded it went from a dollar up to about 450. This one had a really nice run in the middle of the day, went from a buck 80 all the way to 380. A nice little big winner. Also had a nice little pop on the day before uh, regarding about uh, was American Airlines. So the airlines did pretty well. That one cheap stock also ran well was the OCGN. Another one, nice little cheapy right there. Stock was a $16 stock. I crushed, made a little bit of comeback. I'm going to keep an eye on this, by the way, because it, it closed pretty strong going into the close, the OCGN. But you could see that one was also a nice little cheapy, a buck seventy to two twenty. So a lot of a lot of nice little stocks. A lot of us ended early. I don't think Friday afternoons was pretty. It was, it was decent. It was like a nickels and dimes. But that morning, just even on that guilt trade. I know everybody that was here was just loving it. All right. So anyway, guys, that's the past. Okay. That those are archived. Let's focus on the future. And the future is what's moving on in pre-market. There are a couple of stocks that I did like. I found a couple of lists. One of them I forgot to mention, um, and she's still moving, but she was a little. On the ex she's on the expensive side. We talked about this one. The what is it? The SGN is it again? Is that the one I had? Uh, would I spell it wrong? Oh, it's it's S G E N. There we go. S E uh, G E N. Okay, so this one was uh, a little bit on the expensive side. I talked about this on Friday, and uh, you could see it's been having a really, really nice little move. It's expensive. You got to be an advanced trader, level five, but she's still pretty strong. I don't know if you guys. Anyone here's a level five trader, you could see it back on Thursday when it was at 84. Then on Friday, it went from like 86 to about 88, held pretty strong. Now the thing really gapped up to 96. So really, really nice stock, breaking all-time highs, which is what we're looking for. So anyway, um, if you got deep pockets, it's right up your alley. Uh, ben made a 40 cents shorting the UG, UNG. All right. Way to go, Ben. Nice. Let's bring up that stock, the UNG. There you go, right there. Taking a big, 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 big hit. Absolutely. All right, so a couple of stocks I want to bring up. Obviously, that one. Do you still have it, Ben? 
don't know if he's still doing it, but that one looks pretty nice. Put that on our watch list. So we train for, right, guys? Work to get like a team. That's what it's all about. All right. So let's look at a couple of the stocks right here. We got the BIMI. Uh, we all know about BIMI. We traded the stock a couple of days ago. Um, actually, about a week ago. Beautiful stock. Went from a $2 up to, I don't know, about 12 Okay. Uh, <laughs> where do you find stocks go five, six hundred percent right here at Cyber Trade University? Uh, but that was, and, and that's only one of them. We had plenty of them. Yeah, but uh, but she's moving again. The BIMI. Let me put this over here. BIMI. Yeah, it went from almost a dollar, right? So we had a really busy day. BMI, DTSS, buck to eighty, dollar to eight bucks. VIVE, two to twelve. SCS, three to 25. I mean, it, it. I told you that this is what we train for. So this is the busiest time. This is where we're going to make most of our money. OPX, another one right here, gapped up. I don't know what happened. She was looking pretty good this morning. And then she kind of like fell out of bed. So I don't know what happened to it. But she had a nice little pre-market. She's holding pretty strong right here. She's still up at these resistance levels up here. Great iceberg orders right there. You can see some nice orders. Keep an eye on that one. SES, another one that's kind of like gapping up. We This is the one we did really, really well again. I just mentioned earlier, this is a stock that we traded. It was about $3 and it ran to $25 just uh, it was a week and a half ago. She's she's moving again. She's up at 8 So we all know. Listen, remember what I taught you in class. And by the way, classes start today at 1030. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, let me just bring up the lessons, right? J just a quick upcoming events. Remember, class does start today at 1030. This is the most important part of trading, not being in a trade, but being in class. And the reason why is, you know, we talk about, we teach you the journals. If you, if, if you follow what we taught you about taking very good notes, you should go back, test, you know, do what we taught you about the SEC, uh, the SES, I'm sorry, and see what you put down so you know how you should trade the stock. Because I always tell you this, you're gonna trade it again. Uh, the SGNE, we already know about the MDR, another one. Oops, typed in the wrong window. MDR, now this stock took a very big, big hit. Remember, we tried to do a little bottom fish on this one. It went from six down to $2. She's been gapping up and tweaking up little by little. I mean, stock traded over four million shares in pre-market already. Look at this, you got 30,000 share sellers. Uh, 10,000 share uh, buyers. So it's got great iceberg orders all over the place. Looks like it doesn't take that much to move it, but there are some pretty, oh, oh there's a 100,000 share seller just came out at uh, 285. See if that guy gets done. There he is, EDGX right there. All right, so we got that one. Uh, IN, uh, INFY, a little expensive though, but uh, I mean, not really expensive. What I meant by, the stock is getting crushed right here and breaking lower lows. I don't know if she's on your short list, but before before you do anything crazy, just make sure you're not breaking all-time lows because it looks like it's going to probably be testing it sometime soon. But uh, another nice little cheap little stock, 2 million shares. Look at this, 15,000 share sellers sitting there. We all know what that means, right? So um, And the stock's going down. The trend is your friend. Don't buck that trend. So we got... We got a lot of stocks. I mean, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two of them are from last week, the OCGN and the UNG. So we got a lot of things. Uh, Gene just made 13 cents on the, the OPX. Okay, let's give him a round of applause. Now, let me just explain something to everybody here regarding, you know, you know, people always asking me, and last week this kind of came up. A lot of people say, well, why aren't you guys posting how much money you're up? Why are you posting up points? Because, and, and let me, I just want to reiterate that a little bit more. So listen to me carefully. Um, here, w the way I was trained is that we all are trying to make the same 20 cents, 50 cents, 13 cents. And you don't want to discourage somebody, it's a new trader that's trading 100 shares versus somebody's trading 1,000 or five or 10,000 shares in the room. Because at the end of the day, we're all looking, trying to make the same amount of points. The goal is it's only numbers. So that is a strategy, what you were trained. So when you see that, look at it, you know, with a grain of salt in a way that, listen, 
you know, we're all out here playing the same game. We're all looking to make the same amount of points. So if you're a 50 cents a day trader, if it's 100 shares or if it's 5,000, um, the most you could pull out of that stock is 50 cents. So 50 cents on 1,000 shares, I don't know, it's $100,000. So I just want to remind everybody. Remember, uh, once you get good at 100 shares, it just gets a lot more easier to trade 1,000. But if you start 1,000, you're going to blow up your account. And that's what it's all about. So those are our watch lists. That's what we got going on. So remember, a couple of things going on today. First of all, remember, I will be on NASDAQ, um, their TV show tomorrow. Uh, in the afternoon, we'll send everybody a link and we'll tell you guys want to watch it. And we'll talk about uh, Total View. And then uh, we got classes that are going on all week this week. Phase one starts at 1030. And then we got the fa uh, and then phase two that's going to be on the 23rd. And then we got the you got all the other ones right here. You got uh, phase two that's going to be starting on October 24th. And then you got phase three starting on the 29th. Remember, everybody, one of the most important lessons in training is you got to be in class this what you're watching this is a joke okay this is sunday football and remember just because you lost on sunday doesn't mean you can't win on monday right remember monday to saturday is where we learn sunday we play football this is trading so do what you got to make make your money early and just get ready to get into class all right guys uh bngo you bring up that stock you know what i saw that stock uh the bngo and remember, bingo is a stock that we traded. <laughs> we did really pretty well with that bingo. But she's got she's got the volume. Um, I would just be a little cautious. I was I was thinking about it, Ben, and then I kind of like backed off on it because uh, it really hasn't really been going anywhere. Remember, let's not try to go back to the the you know the the old uh, boyfriend girlfriend stock, which I like to call it. Remember, we always got to focus on new ones because whatever happened in the past is not always indicative of the future, unless if it's something like got really, really crushed, like some of the other stocks we traded last week, like the, what was the one that, that I told you? I, like, I, I'll probably keep an eye on it. Who knows? The, the, the Jill. Man, that thing got crushed. All right. But anyway, she came right back down. That's that, you know, so whatever goes up comes right back down. Remember, we didn't take our profit on that stock. You would have got crushed on it. All right. So uh, listen, we have a lot of new members that are joining us today. Very important that you talk to your education advisor. Hopefully you watch the videos we told you to uh, the crash courses of, of, of how day trading works and the swing trading and, and you learn the lingos. Please, I am just addressing this right now. Do not, and I'm going to repeat, do not not trade anything that we're in. You have no idea why we're in these positions. You don't know who's buying it. You don't know who's selling it. Your goal to be in here is just see if other people make money, not me. Okay. Remember, I'm just a, I'm just the, you know, I'm just the head coach of the team. You guys that are playing for it, look at the players in the team and see how they make money and how they're doing it. So please don't go out there and trade anything. Uh, just sit back and watch. All right, guys. And then we'll see you back at 2.30 and we'll start commentating in the next 10 minutes. All right, everyone. Good luck today. Happy trading. And uh, we'll see you all in class after we're done making our money early this morning. Okay. But remember, it is Monday. So be very, very careful on what you get in. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.